hey guys welcome back to my channel i am i literally just came back from work i'm exhausted actually but i need to cook dinner so i just want to take you along today as i'm cooking i'm gonna be cooking fried rice so yeah so i just dish the weave and then put on this cute little thing i got it from Shoprite. So I can take off my makeup later when I'm going to sleep. But let's just got into chopping and cooking. And then yeah, so I can be able to rest because I'm so tired. But yeah, let's get into cooking fried rice. Yeah. Let me first put this closet away before I start cooking. Because my kitchen is very small and I don't want to. To be tripping over things so let me just put that away and then start with cooking Here are the ingredients we're gonna need guys. We're gonna need the spring onion, like this. We're gonna need the peppers. We're gonna need onion. We're gonna need some mixed veggies. Salt. Olive oil. Soy sauce, black pepper, garlic, and ginger. Last but not least, we're gonna need leftover rice. So, yes, that's our main ingredient. Let's get chopping, guys. Don't throw this stuff away. I'm gonna replant it.
not a drink and I'll go anywhere The way you smile Like a flash in the universe You are illuminating I don't really care about the people in the bar line I don't really mind All the woo girls who in stage dives Um, uh, our eggs in them so let's just go and cook our simple dinner fast less than 30 minutes we'll be done i hope this guest is not gonna die on me because it's almost finished i need to go and refill it i'm just gonna start hey our onion, garlic, ginger, peppers, yeah, all the good stuff. And you're gonna keep adding stuff, adding stuff. As you can see, my pan is big. Just gonna keep adding stuff in there until the end. So let's cook our eggs on the side while that is going. Just keep stirring until all the vegetables are wilted. I'm thinking of adding just a hand full of spinach, but I know I'm not going to do that today. Adding our salt and pepper. Not a lot of salt because we're still going to use uh, soy sauce at the end. And it's quite salty. Let's put up black pepper. So I love black pepper, so I'm just gonna put quite a bit. Thank God I am the tallest girl. Like my hands just went over the camera all the way to the pan. So that's a bonus. How gorgeous our vegetable looks. My house, guys, smells very nice right now. Very aromatic. Because of the ginger in there and the garlic and the spring onion, just makes everything smells like we're making something special. But it's basically just um, 30 minutes no when you have a leftover rice and you are tired coming back from work this is the recipe that you can just cook and enjoy 15 minutes okay so now I'm just gonna add in our mixed vegetables just add a handful in there
You could do this as like a meatless Monday kind of meal. Because basically there's just no meat in this dish. And it's delicious. And super, super, super healthy. My mom always says like, always have some green stuff on the side. If you're going to eat pap, have a cabbage on the side, have a um, spinach on the side. You just cook meat only. Put something on the side that is green. Put in our soy sauce. Just to, we're gonna cover the, our rice with this. That's why I said at first we must not put a lot of salt because this is quite salty. And nobody likes salty food. Where I come from, you put too much salt. Something wrong with you. Some of them they say it's either you're a jealous girlfriend or a jealous wife. If you are if you are a wife, you are a jealous wife. And if you are a girlfriend, you are a jealous girlfriend because you, you tend to put a lot of salt. Some say you're just a bad cook. But you know with salt these things happen. I mean just salt just run out of your hand and then you lose all the control. So we're gonna put in our rice. Just gonna add bit by bit, just to make sure that my rice is covered with the soy sauce. So not if it's too much. So it's called fried rice. So we're just gonna toast it. Just taste the bit and feel that salt. Just taste that salt. You could cook rice from scratch and then do it, but I did that the first time. I did not like it. It's a bit like slow because the rice was still like fresh. But when you put it in the fridge, guys, it's like something else. Let's just put a bit of soy sauce just to coat the last batch that I just put in. And then we're going to add in our eggs and then that's it. Dinner is set. Okay. Add in the eggs. Trust me, this is delicious. Just gonna turn on, turn off the stove, and then we're done. So that's it, guys, for my dinner tonight. That's a very like easy meal that you anybody can do. And then if you want me to, I'll actually I'll just put the recipe down in the description box, and then follow me, guys, on um, Instagram as well. 
and then take me guys just try the recipe and then take me if you uh, did try the the recipe and then if you did enjoy it just take me let me see if you guys like this kind of videos because I'm, I'm, I'm planning on doing this video every Wednesday I'm gonna be posting recipes on every Wednesday so that you guys can cook together and then just make dinner time easy because like I'm a mom like the only important thing to me is just saving my kids three meals a day and then I'm accomplished if I can do that and then I'm just a happy mama. I'm good. So yeah, if you guys like this kind of videos again, comment down below, subscribe to our channel, and then like and share with your friends so you guys can just get cooking, you know, get out of the rot of cooking as well. And then again, I wanted to tell you guys, I'm following the this lady on Instagram. It's Urban Dietitian. She's like just showing a lot of uh, our African food and how we can eat them and all of that. So I'm gonna be trying some of the things that we actually ourselves just finished from our meals thinking that they're unhealthy and all of that but she makes it very simple and show us like our meals are still good the maize meal because people complain about pap and all of that pap it makes them gain weight or all of that but it doesn't really so if i suggest you guys or recommend you guys to follow her and see some of the food that you thought that like you will never eat them but she approves them and then she'll just tell you how you should cook them so that they can work for you none of our food are bad they are good food and she actually said um on one post that you know what let's stop calling food <laughs> like a protein for example if you eggs stop calling eggs protein just call food food and then in that way, then you'll be able to know and have ways of how to cook them to make them work for you and your family. So yeah, I hooked you up guys. So comment down below, subscribe to our channel and then yeah, have a good night.